What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how you can fix the out of video memory area that you could be getting when you're trying to play Banishers Ghosts of New Eden. It's super simple. We're going to start off by saying, first of all, make sure your Windows is up to date and of course your graphics drivers as well. Whether it's NVIDIA, AMD, Intel, etc. Making sure you're on the latest driver should help you launch the game if you're experiencing any issues. Then the next obvious simple fix is to verify the game files. If you own the game on Steam, navigate to it, right click, choose properties and in here on the installed files tab, you'll find verify integrity. Click this and wait for it to run through to completion. Otherwise, if you own it on the Epic Games Store, simply head across to your library, I'll sort by installed, click the three dots next to the game, choose manage and verify over here. When it runs through to completion, it'll make sure all of the files are the way that they're supposed to be. And if anything is corrupt, it'll be fixed and replaced. Super simple. Then the next most common solution is to make sure it's running on the correct graphics device. This is especially important when you have an iGPU or a secondary graphics card on your PC, laptop, etc. What you need to do is navigate to where the game is installed. For Steam, simply right click the game, hover over manage and choose browse local files. Otherwise, if you have it on the Epic Games Store in your library, find the game, click the three dots, choose manage, followed by this little folder icon over here next to installation, where we can open up the game's install folder. For me, I'll go back and in the Epic Games folder, we have the Banishers Ghosts of a New Eden game here. Opening it up, we're now in the same place on Steam and the Epic Games Storm. So what you want to do is head into the NWD folder, followed by binaries, Win64, and in here you'll find the game's main executable. Make a mental note of where we are here, and at the very top, in this path bar, we can right click and choose copy address. What we'll do now is open up our settings by hitting start and searching for graphics settings. Open this, and if you're not already on the graphics tab, scroll down until you see graphics over here. On Windows 10, the steps should be very similar. Then from the drop down, choose desktop app, click browse over here, and now we'll be navigating to where the game is installed. At the very top where the path bar is, click in an empty space to highlight everything, hit Control V to paste the path we just copied of where our game is installed, NWD, binaries, Win64, hit enter, and it'll be dropped straight in this folder. Choose the game's main exe, the only file you can see here, and choose add. Now once it appears on this list, click options next to it and choose high performance over here. Simply choose save and now you're done with making sure it's running on the correct graphics device. The next time you fire up the game, you should hopefully no longer receive the out of video memory error. Now for probably the most advanced fix is to increase your page file size. What we'll do is open up a new file browser. I'll use start and E, the flag key and E to open up a new file browser. Right click this PC, choose properties and in this new window, we'll see info about our system. On Windows 10, you'll instead be moved to the control panel. On Windows 10, on the far left, you'll find advanced system settings. Click that, the option will be right here for you. In this new window, on the advanced tab, head into settings just under performance then on the advanced tab at the very top once more, we'll find virtual memory. Click change here, uncheck automatic, choose C drive, the one where your Windows is installed, and then choose custom size over here. What we'll do for initial size is set it to around 12,000 and the maximum to 30,000. That's between 12 and 30 gigabytes. As long as you have at least this amount of storage free on your system drive, this fix should hopefully work for you. It doesn't need to be exact, but in this area is more than good enough for 90% of games. We'll click set, okay, okay. Once you've closed everything, you may have seen a prompt about restarting your PC. Whether you do or didn't, you'll need to restart your PC anyway for changes to take place. Now your game should hopefully be working properly. Finally, what if none of these fixes work for you? Well, we can try resetting the game's options, even if you haven't got in-game, to change them anyways. I'll hold start, which is the fire key, and R to bring up the run dialog. In here, we'll type in percentage, local app data, percentage, and hit enter. Then in here, we'll be looking for the banishes, ghosts of new Eden folder. Open this, where you'll see saved, config, windows, and here's all of the settings for the game. What I'd recommend you do is, in here, if you're technically savvy, you can edit game user settings.ini manually to choose the correct graphics options for your system. Otherwise, if you don't really know what you're doing, all you need to do is rename the game user settings.ini file to something else. I'll just add a two to the end of it. The game will no longer find it. It'll recreate the file and therefore reset your graphics settings in game. That's it. That's all of these super simple fixes that should get your game working just as good as new. So hopefully this video helps you. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.